What does your motorcycle mean to you? How do you feel when you think about riding it? I believe many motorcyclists can relate to the emotional bond I have to riding my bike. Most of us have it. Not being able to get out to your favorite roads in winter just sucks. And when the winter season drags on for way too long and the mountain passes are just so slow to open up, what would you do? It feels so good to be back on the bike again, finally. Feeling the air and getting excited about all the roads I'm gonna ride and places I'm going to see. You join me in Austria on the road to Samnaun, where I'm about to make a quick stop for some cheap petrol. Cheap-ish. Samnaun is a Swiss enclave within Austria and thanks to its special status, there is no petroleum tax. Yes, I know that white stuff on the side of the road is snow. I'm talking about this bit up here, where I think fresh snow might be falling. But hopefully it's not in our direction. I'm now approaching the Orphan Pass, Pastal Fuorn which is one of my favorite passes in this region and in fact in all of Switzerland. It runs through the absolutely breathtaking Swiss National Park. As you can see, it's quite chilly now. This is the Orphan Pass. Uh, Umbrail was closed. Obviously, it's too early in the year. But I'm really hoping I can make it across Bernina because it's, it might be raining over there now. And if it does rain, it might get slippery. So fingers crossed that we can make it across. the look of that, that really doesn't look good. Poopy! The weather was undoubtedly worse on this side, but after having zipped up my jacket, I was ready to tackle Bernina. 
Berlina aperto Previous concerns just went out the window. Yeah, that sucks. Worst thing is that the hut I'm trying to get to is only about two kilometers into this road. So they clearly, they clearly don't want you to open it. Oh, okay, at least it's not fully dark yet. The road coming up here was super dirty, so we have to be careful on the way down. Now it's dark. You see, there's all this gravel on the road. You really have to be careful not to slip on it. I'm so glad I have the, the strong lights now. I'm not worried about riding in the dark nearly as much as I used to be. glad I went for it this morning because it was like ah the weather doesn't look that good should I really go should I just stay home and I was like ah oh, fuck it fuck it I'm gonna go anyway doesn't matter I'm just gonna try it and see where I get and it was brilliant <coughs> gravel in my mouth it was brilliant so glad I went for it you can't expect everything to go exactly the way you planned it. It was fine. You know, it wasn't, it didn't feel dangerous. It went super dark all of a sudden. Try not to make too much noise on the way up. Wait, what? Oh wow. At least I was not expecting. <laughs> I was not expecting to actually have to deal with snow. Oh, and it's off. What does that say? Anybody here? <laughs> We're gonna put the tent down there. There we are. Arrivé. So we have a tent now, so I actually rode up this, this little mountain side and came across several cars on the way up, which a bit, was a bit uncomfortable. I'm just going to get out of here by sunrise and now I don't think anybody's going to notice me.
Nice. Dented the pot a bit. And uh, uh, it's already wedged. Probably boil water like that. I've mangled it. So, it remains to be seen where we're gonna go. Freaking disaster, all my batteries are dying. Anyway, what I was saying, I realized that I'm actually pretty close to Lake Garda here. At least it looks like it when you look at the map. And then this morning, I entered it in the, uh, the navigation. And realize it takes uh, two and a half hours to get there because the way that you usually want to take the mountain pass you want to take is, is currently closed. So maybe we're gonna go, maybe I'm gonna go the, the long way around just to get to Lake Gala anyway. I think I just figured out my route and now I really have to go because <laughs> it's a bit long. Tonale to Garda, Lavazze, Mendel, Gampen, and then Brennero, and back home to Munich. Gotta finish this tea quickly. Good girl. Sounds a bit angry. Anyway, I'm gonna get the stuff up there and then we're off. Let's see how we get on with the snow. Maybe I should have parked a bit differently. A rocking technique works quite well in the snow. Yep, get it. See? Make a little well by spinning the wheel and then you let yourself roll back into it and go straight forward again. Works. Gosh, my hands are cold. Leave no trace. Looks good.
hand as the sun shines warmly and we approach the lake. Suddenly, there's motorbikes around again. After a nice little brunch in town, the tiger and I watched the wind surfers on the lake for a bit, but then it was time to go again. I still had a lot of distance to cover and I wanted to do as little of it as possible in the dark. The area around Lake Garda is absolutely amazing for motorcycling, but I had to leave that for another day. This is the Mendel Pass, Passo Mendola, and if you stop in one of these bays, you get a fabulous view of the area below. Unfortunately, as I'm sort of explaining in this clip, I had already spent a bit too much time hanging out around Lake Garda, and it got worse, because at this point, I'm on my way to the Alfen Pass. Really what I didn't realize before is that this pass has a curfew in winter. By this point, I've already committed to this route because going back down would cost me time I simply didn't have. Google Maps said I couldn't make it to Paso Jovo in time, but to me that really just seemed like a challenge more than anything. Warming up my hands, and my fingers, because we are at the top of Yalfen Pass, Pass of Jorbal. Made it up with, I think, seven minutes to spare. And it's zero resources. 
Time to get the fuck out of here. What a joy this trip has been. And can you believe that I would have missed out on everything if I just made the simple choice of staying at home? Risky shot, mate. <laughs> ah. And I dropped it. <laughs> ah. This is pretty sick, though. That's what we have GoPros for, right? That was fun.